It's one of the most rewarding experiences you could ever do. Uh, we get an opportunity to take people down that have never seen the bottom of the ocean. And on this cruise, I think there's something like 20 different people that have never ever been out on a cruise. And we're going to have the opportunity to take them down. Piloting the submarine is a lot of work. It can be stressful at times. But you get to see things most people never even dream about. So it's a blast. We're looking at uh, brine pools on the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. I know we're doing some work around the uh, Deepwater Horizon site. I think the first three dives are going to be there. And then we move off and we've got a whole slew of sites that we're going to visit. We take uh, samples from the brine fluid and lots of pouring around the areas where the brine lakes are at. Um, we're going to be doing uh, macro photography with special cameras that are on the front of the submarine. And getting a whole lot of high depth footage from new cameras around the submarine. Can you give me a little description of what these brine lakes that you've talked about are? Well, you have to imagine that you're it really looks like you're hovering over a lake. It looks exactly like a small lake. Uh, the heavy brine fills in depressions, and the difference in the fluid density between the regular seawater and the brine creates a, a, a visual difference between the two. And if you get in the lake with the submersible, you actually can create a wave rolling up on the beach. So you're really you're, you're in a lake on the bottom of the ocean. And there's all these communities that live around the Rhine Lakes. The fluid in the lake itself is a darker color. There's a couple places we go to where the fluid has yellow and red striations on the top. And when you're hovering right over the middle of these things, it, honestly, I've got pictures where it looks like you're over the planet Jupiter. It's amazing. It's stunning to see this. All around the edges are lots and lots of different species of mussels. And two worms live there. So it's, you can get down there, it's not a muddy bottom. It's pretty impressive. It's sort of it's not like you would expect if you just sort of imagine the bottom of the ocean. I don't think you would imagine a lake at the bottom of the ocean. 